in the world do I ship these things? Hey guys, Ken here. Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I want to share with you just exactly how I ship my postcards. You know, there's a number of different ways you can do it. And I experimented with some things when I first started out and I actually changed the way I did it. And I'm just going to be sharing with you on that on the video. But here's a standard postcard right here. And what I do first of all, before I even ship it, when I uh, list my items on eBay, I list everything with a PC number. This is called a SKU. This is PC1135. Okay? And um, what I do when I'm shipping is I will put these in what they call a penny sleeve. Now, you can get these on Amazon, eBay. I buy them by the thousands. That's why literally we call them penny sleeves because you can literally get them at a price point of about a penny when you buy you know that much in bulk. But these are just uh, clear plastic sleeves. This is a three and a half by five and a half. Okay, and what I'll do is I will put the postcard in a penny sleeve like this. It'll go in there, yep, there we go. And I will stick a little sticker on it. I can get these stickers, I get these locally at the, at the uh, corner store for about 99 cents for 500 of them. <laughs> so you should see these things on Amazon. They're about seven and a half bucks. But I get them for 99 cents, and uh, that's what I do. I stick that on there. Now, when I get an order, I look up that PC number, that SKU, and that tells me where I can find the card. So then I'll, I'll get the card together, and I'll put it in a sleeve like that. And then what I do is I will get a envelope. Now, this is a 4.5 by 6.5 inch envelope, and this isn't like your normal envelope. You know, um, some people I've seen ship these out in just regular paper envelopes. All these envelopes, this cardstock, has a what they call a GSM rating. I believe it stands for uh, grams per square meter. I think that's what GSM stands for. And everyone has a thickness rating. Like regular postcard envelopes or just regular envelopes have a GSM rating of about 25 to 50. These have a GSM rating of 250. Okay, and they're just a little thicker than regular uh, paper envelopes, but they're more like cardstock and they still bend. See, now when I first started in postcards, I was using these. <laughs> these suckers are thick. Okay, these have a rating of about 600 GSM. All right, now this is a 6x6 six six flat uh, cardstock or cardboard uh, mailer. Okay. And I also have these 6x8 cardboard mailers, same thing, GSM 600. And these things are really thick and really durable. And that's how I started out doing postcards. But the problem was I had to end up charging for shipping because there's no way you can take one of these and ship it first class like a letter. Because it's too thick, it won't go through the machine, it'll jam up the machines. So... They treat it, the post office actually treats these like a package, and you have to send it first class package, you know, parcel package, and that does come with tracking, okay, which is a good thing, but I was charging like $350, $375 extra for the shipping. You know, I wasn't price gouging on shipping or anything, but I was just charging extra for the shipping, and I did make some sales. But I just began to see more and more that people just weren't buying because they had to pay for that extra shipping. So I really experimented, and I went on YouTube, I love YouTube, and uh, looked around for a better way to ship these, and I came across a method called the PWE method, and that stands for plain white envelope. And like I said, a lot of people just use regular envelopes, and they'll put like a stiffener in between the envelope just to protect the card or whatever, and they'll just mail it out with a first class stamp. Well, I choose to use these because they're still bendable and they're a little bit thicker than the paper. Now what I do, I have these uh, printed uh, return address labels, and I'll take one of these and just put it on there. Let's see if we put it on the right side. And 
then we go just like that. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll go to my computer and print out the buyer's address and I'll cut it down with an X-Acto blade and I'll put that right here in the middle, that label. And then I'll take a piece of uh, clear tape and cut off a piece of clear tape and then just stick that over the label so it holds the label in place really well. And then I went out and bought these. These say caution do not crush bend or fold and it's a nice bright yellow um, label and I'll just peel one of these off like this and I'll stick it to the bottom you know just underneath the where the label goes and that way it just kind of gives the post office says hey don't crush bend or fold this because you know it's important and nothing ever happens to these I'm really shocked I you know I've been doing this over a year you know using the PWE method and uh, I've never had one late I've never had one damaged I've never had a customer complain that it was damaged or that they never got it um, it works out great. Now, i got to be honest with you. <laughs> I wasn't a big fan of this method when we first started. When I first got started a year ago in, in postcards, I was using, because I didn't think this was enough protection. And see, what I, what I realized is that you don't, with these, these are made by a company called EcoSwift. You can go to EcoSwift.com. I'm not affiliated with them at all. They're not paying me anything to, you know, tell you this. But you can get like 100 of these for like 20 bucks. I paid like 20 cents an envelope when I ordered these. And like I said, they're a little thicker than normal paper. And they don't tear. They're very tear resistant. And they get there, you know, with no problem. And But I was a little nervous when I first started in this because I was afraid, one, that this wouldn't be strong enough. I thought I had to go with, uh, you know, something like these, which is a lot sturdier. But I realized I can't. Do the free shipping because that's another thing I wanted to you know to gravitate to because it originally I started out with paid shipping and then I did paid shipping and a free shipping option and I found out that with all the orders that came in under that you know where I gave my customers a choice every single one of them chose the free shipping every single one so I decided to go full bore and did you know and do free shipping and that's what I've been doing ever since and it's been wonderful. Um, also, one of the things I do, let me see, where is my card? Ah, here we go. One of the things I do is just kind of an added thank you. Where is my thank you card? I had these printed up. I print these up at home. These are my little thank you cards. And I take a piece of blue painter's tape like this, and I'll just cut it like this. And I'll just fold it over like this. Hold it over itself, and then I'll take the thank you card, and I'll just, these come off really easily, and I'll just stick it right there to the card. And I'll when I put that in the envelope, that's what they see. They see a thank you card from me. Now, I do peel those stickers off. Those are for my purposes only. The customer doesn't need to see that. That's just so I can find the card. So that's what I do with that. And then what I'll do is once the label is in the middle, I'll just open this and stick it in here and just peel the, the backing off and I'll seal that down and this is good to go. And the, the great thing about this is this weighs exactly 0.7 ounces, every single one of them. So what I do is I get a, a little disorganized here. Oh, here we go. I'll get a 55 cent stamp and I will put that on there. And anything up to an ounce is covered by a 55 cent stamp. Now, occasionally I do get orders for more than one, which means I have to use, in addition to that, I have to use these uh, additional ounce stamps. And I get these in bulk, and I'll put that. I, I had an order this morning. Somebody ordered two cards. Well, it just barely went over one ounce, so I put an extra 20 cents on there to cover the postage, because one thing you do not want to do is have your card show up at your customer's address, and they owe for postage. That will infuriate them, and you'll and probably end up with a negative comment on your eBay account. So that's what I do. Uh, you know, I do the three and a half by five cards, and I also do, these are called continental cards. These are four inches by six inches, and I have sleeves for each. These are the sleeves I get. I get them from BCW. These are the standard sleeves right here. And then I get the Continental postcard sleeves. These are the 4x6. And the great thing about, you know, 
I was a little nervous at first with the post with the um, with the Continentals because um, with these I thought it wouldn't fit. But you know what? Look at this. Stick that in there, and it fits perfectly inside the sleeve. You can close that down, no problem. This thing's ready to go. So I just wanted to share with you how I do my postcards. Now, how you choose to do them, that's up to you. It's your business. You run your business the way you want to run your business. But this is how I ship mine. I've been doing it this way for over a year. Like I said, I've never had one come back. I've never had one arrive damaged. I've never had a complaint. And um, it's just been wonderful because I can, you know, ship my postcards using the free method. And all I have to eat as far as the cost is the cost of the stamp, which isn't even 55 cents to me because I buy these in bulk. I get these for about 20 cents. And then I buy these and the envelopes are 20 cents. So it's really not eating into my profits very much at all. And these arrive safely. And like I said, I've never had any problems with them. And I've just been thrilled with um, how that's worked out. Okay, so there's... Thought I'd share that with you. Hope that helped. If you got anything out of this video, then make sure you smash that like button because it really helps the channel and I, I do appreciate it. But listen, I got to go. You guys have a great day and we'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye for now.